Tracker is brought to you by Peterson Chevrolet. You know, it has been a cloudy, rainy couple days here in the Treasure Valley. So what does the weekend have in store? Chief Meteorologist Roland Stedham is tracking the conditions. He's also telling us about a fun event happening this weekend in Nampa. Yeah, it's the Arena Cross that's here at the Forward Idaho Center, and it's going to start tomorrow. They're just finishing up the track right now, guys. Uh, we were out there at the start of the newscast. There were a couple of little sprinkles, so if you got plans to go to Tree Fort or any activities like that, please have a, some kind of a light jacket ready to go because there can be some hit and miss sprinkles throughout the area tonight. So here's the track, and this is a handsome young man that lives right here in Idaho, Ryan Brees. Now, Ryan, you've been racing for 15 years. So tell me, what's it like to race and to be invited to be able to actually participate in an arena cross? And if you don't mind, describe the track for us as well. Yeah, it's been a long time on the motorbike and it's been fun, great years, met a lot of people and uh -huh. a lot of good surrounding guys that are they're supporting me, so it's always fun. But we had to take a look here at the, super, at the arena cross section. It's more of a super cross as we, there's two different options. You can either double the rhythm or you wanna go three over three over again, uh, two into the turn, back into the rhythm section. As we go through this lane, we hit the catapult finish line where they crown champions and get the checkered flag handed to them. Take a left into that corner and we have the whoop section. It's probably the hardest section of the night. Yeah. You'll see a lot of crashes, a lot of wrecks along the viewings and um, it makes for some good battlings and, and such. Come around the, the start here and there you go. Another round of the lap and now, it's really cool, Ryan. Tell me how many times you've been to the hospital. Um, I want to <laughs> say around 10, but that's too much. So I know what Natalie is saying. She's looking at this kid's smile. She's going, oh, he's such a cutie. <laughs> anyway, so there's your mom over there. Mom, how, you like him racing? Love it. Yeah, yeah. you love to watch him race, she not the emergency it. room visit. Yeah. So it comes with a price. Stick around, buddy. We're going to go down. I want you to tell me the conditions of the track. But again, the racing starts tomorrow. Ryan's going to be one of the top contenders going on tomorrow. Let's see what the Doppler radar is showing right now around the region. And what we're getting is little hit and miss pockets of rain that are going on in the Treasure Valley. And with those hit and miss pockets of rain, we are going to be seeing, again, little shower activity every now and then tonight. But this is the way things are going to be shaping up here for the next 24 to 36 hours. And that is that we're going to be seeing the occasional showers in the forecast again tonight and again tomorrow. And on the satellite imagery, first of all, you can see the temperature readings we're seeing around the region. And those temperature readings are hovering right around the upper 40s to near 50 degrees. But what's really interesting to note is the satellite imagery. And that shows the area of low pressure that is developing out there in the Pacific Northwest. That low pressure center is what's gonna work its way from the Northwest down into the Southeast. And so it's going to move right across the Gem State here tomorrow. And with that, we're going to be seeing the hit and miss pockets of rain in the forecast again tomorrow. Hit and miss pockets of rain in the forecast on Sunday. And don't be surprised to see a little bit of snow. Seven-day forecast in for the valley. Well, let's go with a mixture of clouds and sun. Occasional showers tomorrow. Might see a little rain-snow mix on Sunday. And then on Monday, oh, here comes high pressure. And that high pressure is going to give us some sunshine. And it's going to take our temperatures up into the 60s. Wow, that's going to be awesome. So by Thursday and Friday, 63 degrees. And up in the mountains, we're not going to be seeing rain like we saw yesterday. We're now going to start seeing some snow showers in the forecast. Hit and miss nature tomorrow. And again, occasional snow showers in the forecast on Sunday. And then it clears out next week. So we're down here on the track with Ryan. Okay, Ryan, I want you to tell me, what is the quality of the dirt that you got there, buddy? As I'm looking here, it's deteriorating pretty quick. It seems like it's like a lot of uh, soft, loamy sand that, okay. that we have going on here. So does that make it easier or harder? Um, I think it's pretty hard because it, it forms ruts a lot quicker, and you okay. got to be on top of your game. you got to be on your game, so it's going to be an interesting competition tomorrow evening. It will, man. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Ryan. Back to you guys in the studio. Very 